Big Brother's Julie Chen has social media buzzing right now. This was her first time on TV since her husband Les Moonves was forced to resign as CEO of CBS. And Julie Chen told the world she is standing by her man. Watch this. From outside the Big Brother house with Brent, I'm Julie Chen Moonves. Good night. Ooh. Okay, just in case you and missed wait, it, yes. By the way, his name is Brett. I know. Okay, I just that could to point be a that tell yes. that she was nervous. Yes. But let's see it, just in case you missed it. Again. From outside the Big Brother house with Brent, I'm Julie Chen Moonves. Good night. So, as you stated, uh, she mispronounced his name. Maybe she was nervous. Well, Julie has never used her full married name on TV before. And Twitter, let me tell you, is on fire. Ryan Moyer posted this gift saying, Oh, damn. Alyssa Slater supports Julie's decision, tweeting, I didn't think her perfection could grow, but here she is. We love you so much. But on the other hand, Lori Myers tweets, she will not have the last laugh. She will look or does look crazy for backing him and what he did to all those women. So you know back, you know uh, the Big Brother house more than anybody here. Do you think that they're going to support Julie? Yes, you I do. do. I do, and I support Julie too, just to put it out there. I think what she did backing her husband in this time, he, he's accused, he's not proven guilty. His word is just as good as some of his accusers are. So, I mean, p things are put into the media that we speculate into with scrutiny, she is an insider in this. She knows her husband, she knows what she, he did. And I think Julie is, you know, strong enough in herself, if she knew something was going on she or leave. something happened, she would leave. That's my personal opinion, and I, I'm proud of her for doing that. But not everyone feels that I, way. I, I understand. There's two sides to every story. Yeah, that's true. Erica? You know, my husband and I talked about this last night, and I like to get his perspective because he manages people on different things, not just this. But I kind of was under the idea of maybe she knew about a lot of this stuff that's come out, and she has reconciled in one way or the other for good, bad, or different and so she's not as blindsided by some of it and she feels like she may know more than the, the average person does and she probably does know more than the average person does and I'm not saying that this is just there's no validity to what I'm saying I'm just being speculative here but is it possible with the power that he has that she may also feel pressure to do that well, I mean, this guy, you've seen the text messages, you, you've you seen this guy ruin people's careers and also, is she scared? You can't jump ship off the allegations. I feel I feel like she can't stand by her man and jump ships off of allegations. She has to wait till he's at least convicted okay. and then it, it makes her look a little bit better if she jump ships then. And he right. no longer has power. Yeah, I mean, well, that's out. not necessarily true. He's still a consultant there. So as a consultant, getting $120 million dollars with your own office and security details Detail, you're very, very much involved in CBS's underworkings, in I, my opinion. I know we got to move. I did, it's just the culture back then. I mean, Mad Men, a whole series was made about that culture. If you're a rock star and there's women lined up outside your hotel room, nobody says anything about that. If you're an NBA player or some kind of sports player and there's women finding out where you're staying at in those hotels, there's nothing wrong with that. But all of a sudden, this culture that was happening 30 years ago, this people are getting attacked and losing Wait, their jobs. The difference, that though, culture, I have to I do, I have to, no, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be clear, though. Please. The difference is those women are coming for those it's men. Consensual. And oh, it's, going, it's yeah. a consensual thing. You're talking about predatory behavior, abusing positions of power in order to get those. It's not enough for a lot of people, just to be clear, to get any person that they want. They need to take what they can't have. That's the power play. Okay, but where would the term sleeping your way to the top come from? Everything's a term for a reason, right? I understand that, and I get. I understand what you're saying. And as well as I do. But I, I don't think it applies in a situation where an unwilling person participant anytime you have to say to someone I'm married now I have a child could you please not sexually harass or sexually abuse me that's an issue Those I, are I, two I, totally I hear different you and I don't I don't want to diminish anything if something did happen to someone like that but there is, there is questions that arise in my head also. it's good to have yeah. these conversations yes, yes. believe me that's sure. how we, we we come to some sort of a solution or a compromise or at least have some sort of knowledge about it right, right? Yeah.